So the CDC just made big changes to the Prevnar 13 recommendations, so stay tuned to find out what they are. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. For those of you guys who don't know, my name is Edgman and I enjoy making these videos about common questions patients have about medications, as well as other pharmacy related topics. So make sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching. To start, let's talk about what pneumococcal is. So pneumococcal is a term used to describe an infection caused by the bacteria Streptococcus pneumoniae. Now this is commonly seen in pneumonia, which is an infection in the lungs, but this bacteria can also cause other infections like an ear infection or even meningitis, which is like an infection of the tissues in your brain and also in your spinal cord. So it's a pretty uh, severe infection. So who is at risk for getting these types of infections? Well, technically anybody is at risk because there's bacteria everywhere. However, there are certain demographics with certain age groups, medical conditions, disease states where they are at higher risk for getting these types of infections. But in this video, we're going to talk about what the CDC recommends for healthy individuals. All right, so let's get into it. There's two different types of pneumococcal vaccines. There's Prevnar 13 and there's Pneumovax 23. Now, according to the 2014 CDC recommendations, after the age of 65 for healthy individuals, you want to first get a dose of Prevnar 13. And after a certain amount of time, you want to get a dose of Pneumovax 23. So now the new CDC recommendations from November of 2019, so which was like a couple weeks ago, they took away the Prevnar 13 recommendation. So it's now after the age of 65, you just get a Pneumovax 23 uh, vaccine. Now let's talk about why they took that away. So why did the CDC take away this recommendation for Prevnar 13? Well, to first understand why they took it away, we have to first understand why they first started this recommendation. So here's a timeline. So in 2010, Prevnar 13 was introduced in children. So children were getting vaccinated with Prevnar 13 against pneumococcal infections. And in 2014, we talked about they introduced in adults 65 and older. But in 2014, they stated that at this point in, in about four years, we have to do a reevaluation of the data to see whether or not Prevnar 13 was effective in further reducing incidences of pneumococcal infections for patients over 65. Now I'm gonna show you guys a graph that the CDC posted of this data to help you guys better visually understand what's going on. So this is a graph from the CDC that I was talking about that'll help you guys better visualize their reasoning for not recommending Prevnar 13 anymore for patients over 65. Let's try to understand what's going on in this graph. So on the x-axis, we have time in years. And on the y-axis, we have cases per 100,000. Cases of what? Cases of IPD, which stands for invasive pneumococcal disease. So basically pneumonia infections or any sort of infections caused by pneumococcal. Now, the timeline I was talking about, you guys saw that in Prevnar 13, which is PCV 13, in 2010 was introduced in children, and you could see a significant decline of incidences of pneumococcal infection. So in 2014, you could see it was introduced in adults over 65, and so you would expect or hope that the amount of pneumococcal infections would go down over time, so in this next past four years, but instead it was just going stagnant, maybe even a little up this past year or two, but overall there was no significant decrease. So just, that just shows you that Prevnar 13 was not as effective in reducing uh, pneumococcal infections for patients over 65. And it's important to note that the rates of pneumococcal infection are low to begin with, but all, we also want to strive for like as healthy as we can. And so Prevnar 13 was not doing a significant job at reducing those rates of infections. And that's why it was not recommended anymore for patients over 65. So what are the current recommendations for Prevnar 13? So according to the CDC, Prevnar 13 should be given for healthy patients two years of age or younger. And now after the age of 65, it's just Pneumovax 23. Um, and there are medical conditions, like I mentioned before, in which Prevnar 13 is still needed. So I always recommend talk to your doctor about your, your medical conditions. And I'll also put a link in the description below that will lead you to the CDC's website. that will further talk about these medical conditions. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video. If you guys have any questions or feedback, please leave it in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time.